There's been a lot of talk lately about our 1234YF refrigerant. The new kid on the block in the air conditioning world, well, our 1234YF has been phasing in since 2012 and starting with the 2022 model year, nearly every car sold with air conditioning will use it in their systems. Impressive, but there's another dramatic stat. Millions of cars are still out there using the refrigerant R134A that was introduced in 1995. Starting in the early 2000s, the most popular type of condenser for these vehicles that use R134A has been the parallel flow condenser because it's the most efficient condenser for this type of refrigerant. Parallel flow condensers don't have huge hollow tubes that the refrigerant flows through, but a series of very small tubes close together in a row with internal diameters about the size of a pinhead. This helps to improve the surface area of the condenser and increase the cooling capacity. Its multi-channel construction allows the refrigerant to make multiple passes through the condenser, which provides maximum heat transfer. Also, the smaller tubes provide a wider surface area that allows the maximum amount of refrigerant to encounter the air flowing through the condenser fins. Unfortunately, the characteristic that makes the parallel flow condenser so efficient are among some of its major drawbacks. The tubes that efficiently transfer heat are so small that they trap any contamination in the system that tries to pass through them. What that means for your customers is that flushing the AC system won't remove the contamination from the condenser. These particles will create a restriction in the condenser and make the high side pressure go up, forcing the compressor to work harder and possibly fail. It's also possible that the contamination in the condenser can work itself free and end up in the compressor, where it will cause another failure. Here's the bottom line. If your customer's AC system has a parallel flow condenser and there's a situation where you need to flush your system, it's strongly recommended that you replace the condenser. That's because the parallel flow condenser cannot be flushed, only replaced. Since flushing the system is always recommended when replacing a failed compressor, if your customer needs a new compressor, odds are they're going to need a new condenser too. Here are just a few tips to help you make your next air conditioning service job more productive. Did you get all of the old oil out of the system? If the system was low on refrigerant, most of the oil will be caught in the evaporator. Check each vehicle system for contamination. Remaining contamination will destroy new components. Use the oil recommended by the compressor's manufacturer. The oil needed may not necessarily be the same as the original OE viscosity. The oil is for the compressor, not the system. Does the compressor need polyalkaline glycol or PAG oil? Or is it a specific type of oil with dielectric properties? be sure that you know. Use the recommended amount of oil for the system. More is not better and can lead to reduced efficiency from the compressor. Use a charging scale to correctly measure the system charge. Measuring the system charge is impossible to do with cans. No matter if you're in the sunny south or the frozen north, your customers demand a lot from their system in their cars. Your expertise in air conditioning diagnosis and service will do more than keep your customers cool. It'll keep them coming back. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.